We're going to try and make this work. It's December in Norway and I live on the north side of a hill, so this is about as much natural light as we can get. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while again, which was not my intention, but then I suppose um, 2020 has caught most of us off guard a bit. So between um, working on my PhD and the pandemic and some health things that have come up this year, which I won't go into, it's been, um, it's been a lot. I just have to say I'm incredibly impressed with anybody who is doing a PhD and still manages to keep a channel like this going. Um, in any case, my name is Diana, if you're new here. Um, uh, welcome. <laughs> so you can tell it's been a little while. Um, uh, you can find me online a whole bunch of places. My website is uh, Paper Tiger, paper-tiger.net. Um, I am on Ravelry as Diana Walla. And I'm on Instagram as Paper Tiger Knits. That's a change since the last time I made a video. Um, yeah, and there's also a Ravelry group, although it's admittedly a pretty quiet one. Um, all of that will be linked in the description box below. And you will also um, find just more useful information. Links to whatever uh, you know I'm talking about will be down there. But today, today, I am, I'm here because I have a couple of patterns that I want to share with you. And um, I don't normally share new patterns here on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to this time because these patterns are part of something really fun, something I've really enjoyed. So um, this the past couple of months, I have been working on this little pattern collaboration with Anushka from The Crimson Stitchery. And you may know Anushka from her channel here on YouTube, The Crimson Stitchery. She has a wonderful video podcast, and she also uploads other videos, like tutorials and sort of general interest stuff. Um, but yeah, she updates really regularly, and her channel's great. So if you have not seen her videos before, you should definitely check them out. But she also writes knitting patterns, and she's been releasing uh, a bunch of excellent stuff this year. A lot of sock patterns that I've knit a couple of. But we decided to do um, a collaboration, and we have released this weekend um, four patterns, accessory patterns, um, inspired by, originally by the winter solstice. That was like our starting point. Um, so they're a little bit, they're wintry, they're a little bit festive, but they're not really, they're not like specifically Christmas patterns or things like that, but they're definitely evocative of this time of year, um, as are the names that we ended up giving them. So we each does, in the end, we each designed two hats and um, we each designed one hat. So there's two hats in the collection and we each designed a pair of fingerless mitts. So there's two pairs of fingerless mitts in the collection. Um, so I thought I would share my patterns uh, with you all and then also um, insert some photos of Anushka's. But I know that she is also making a video over on her channel. So again, that will be linked in the description box and you can go over there and check that out. Um, and she'll tell you about her patterns in a little bit more detail. Uh, before I get any further, I should mention that um, next Friday, the 18th of December, is that right? Yes, the 18th of December, we will be doing a live stream over on Anushka's channel um, at 6.30 Greenwich Mean Time, 7.30 Central European Time, so that's 6.30 UK, 7.30 Norway in the evening. But yeah, we'll be doing a live stream on Anushka's channel and we'll be chatting about the process of collaboration and yeah, just just having a nice chat, really. Um, I have never done a live stream like that before, so I'm I'm really curious to see how it goes, but I'm also really excited. I'm planning to I don't know, have something festive on hand to drink and I'll have some knitting with me and um, it'll be really nice to chat with Anushka and maybe see if you all have any questions about the collection as well. But so first, um, I thought I would share the hat. We released our hats on Friday, uh, the 11th of December. Um, and this one, it's pretty exciting. This one is mine. So this is Lebkuchen, um, named after the German sweet treat. Um, and it's a colorwork hat in fingering weight. And the contrast color is actually metallic. So it's a gold Lurex yarn. This is an idea I've been wanting to play with and I actually knit a different hat using um, a Lurex yarn earlier in the year. 
But um, I just think it's so much fun. I mean, sometimes you end up, I ended up with one of these yarns, let's see. So I ended up with one of these because I, I, um, I bought it just because I thought it was really cool. And the first time I ended up with, with one of these, and that was a yarn from Pickles. This one is from Yarbo, the Swedish yarn company. Um, but I think it's probably, it's this probably pretty similar to, um, any kind of gold Lurex yarn that you might be able to find locally to you. It's a chainette construction. So it's like a, a tube and it's quite elastic. But yeah, I ended up with one of these a couple of years ago and, um, knit it into a project, but also sort of didn't know what to do with it. And then... Later on, um, I was in a hobby store here in Norway last year and um, saw some of this Yadbo on the shelf and thought, hmm, I've seen photos on, um, you know, on Pinterest of, of some knitwear that was with um, metallic color work. And it was actually a sweater with mohair as well, or it looked like mohair. Um, and the mohair was held throughout and that was really cool. And I've played with that and I want to keep playing with that idea. Uh, but this time I just used the wool yarn and the, the gold lurex, um, and I think it's quite fun. It's probably not the warmest hat that I own, um, but I just, I really love the effect of the contrast being in gold. And then it also has this contrasting pom-pom, which is um, maybe not something I normally would have done, but when you see the rest of the patterns in the little collection, I think it makes perhaps more sense. But of course, it's really easy to take this off as well. Um, it's just tied. You know, I've got my strings I used to make the pom pom, and it's just tied. It's not even in a double knot, actually. It's a single knot. Let's see if I can undo it one handed. Yeah. So you can just untie the knot, pull it away, and then there's no more pom pom on top. And actually, the crown of this hat is where. The name came from because the the final little stars at the top look a bit like the top of Lebkuchen, the style that has the little almonds on top. Um, and I'm quite pleased with that. I really love it when a colorwork crown comes together nicely. Um, and I do have to say, I, I had this inside out. I really like the way the inside of this looks as well. I think if you wanted to, I, you know, I wove in my ends on this side, so there's a couple of messy spots. But if you wanted to, you could actually choose to make this the outside of the hat and weave in the ends on the other side. Or if you weave your ends in a little bit less messily than I did, maybe you could even, you know, it could be reversible. But I'll try it on because I've just been holding it up and you haven't actually seen it yet. So. It's always a little bit questionable putting on a hat when you can't quite see what's happening properly. But there it is on. There's two sizes of this hat and I've knit the smaller size. My color work tends to be quite elastic, so that works out for me. But if you know yours tends to be tighter, you might want to go for the larger size. It's... I think it's a couple inches, two or three inches larger. So it's a big jump, but it's a, it's a, also a big repeat. So that was sort of the best I could do. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. There's a little bit of, of volume in it, so it's slightly slouchy. And if you had, you know, more ease in your hat, then it would, it would come across as a little bit slouchier. Since mine has some negative ease, it tends to stand up a bit. But the pom-pom also helps with that. So that is Leibkuchen. Now, the other pattern... Oof, I got that hat hair. The other pattern I can tell you about uh, is my fingerless mitts that I designed for this collection. And these... Um, the hat was in fingering weight. My mitts are in worsted weight. Um, and this makes use of the same colorways. So the that burgundy color, uh, as well as the the blue color, blue-green color of the pom-pom. And there's another color of yarn and then a little bit of the gold lurex as a contrast edging, which is totally optional. You could leave that out because you really don't need very much of it. So you don't need to go and purchase a whole little ball just to do these edges. But this is Peppetkocker, uh, which is, um, I've spelled it the Norwegian way, um, but the Scandinavian sort of um, gingerbread cookies, the little snappy biscuits. Um, 
So these, yeah, these are Pepe Cocker. They are fingerless, uh, worsted weight, as I said. I did the cast on and the bind off of these with the gold lurex. Um, but also, as I mentioned, you could leave that out. There's a thumb gusset that runs up the inside here. Um, and the, the cuffs fold over. So if you unfold these, these are actually quite quite long and can um, can keep your fingers warm if it's, if it's on the colder side. Um, again, you have to be a bit careful how you weave in your, your ends because they're woven in on what is normally the outside, which gets folded over. But I'm quite pleased with how these came together as well. I think they're very cute. Um, I was originally, I was a bit torn between whether to do fingerless uh, mitts like this or to do full mittens. And I went with fingerless for the pattern, but I decided also, um, that's what's out and available right now. But I decided I wanted to do a full mitten version as well. I'm just, I'm actually in the middle of working on that. So here's, here's what I've got of that so far. Um, so this has a, a shorter cuff. The location of the thumb gusset is actually a little different. It's moved down a bit. Um, I can try it on. Um, so these will continue with this, like the first O, the X, another O, another X, and an O at the very top where it comes to a point. Um, so very Norwegian inspired, if not strictly traditionally Norwegian. And you can also see I've started adding this is duplicate stitch. It's not three colors at once. Um, so I will be doing duplicate stitch on all these little dots on the mittens. And you can see I also skipped the gold. So there's a few design um, changes for the full mitten and I've reversed the colors because I'm using what I have available from the yarn. Um, so it's the reverse. But I think the, the full mittens are also going to be really cute and I just... I mean, I went with the fingerless, which I'm really, really happy with, but I do kind of want both to be available because I did make the charts and everything. So um, that will be sent out as a pattern update on Ravelry. And once I have both versions available, um, they'll also be going up on Love Knitting, I think. So anyway, that's what I've been working on there. But for for the, the collection release itself, it's the, the Leibkuchen hat and the Pepe Kocken mitts. And... Um, the yarns we use for this, I mentioned my gold lurex is um, Jarbo Glitra. So it's a Swedish yarn. Um, if you're in Norway, Pickles Thin Bling. I think that's what it's called. That should also work. Um, Anushka used something else. Let me just double check real quick and I can tell you what it was. So the gold lurex yarn that Anushka used is called Rico Creative Lame. And I think that that was something that was more available to her in the UK. But the wool yarns that we used, we did use, um, we used yarns from Quince & Co. They provided yarn support for these patterns. Um, so the fingering weight is their Finch and the um, worsted weight is their Lark. Um, those are both from their core wool lines. But you could use whatever you have in your stash. Um, I'd say for these, yeah, anything, anything should work really, whether it's smooth and round or really wooly and, you know, a two-ply or something. The stitch definition is a little bit less important for color work. It will make more of a difference for Anushka's patterns, which I'll tell you about super briefly. Um, so her hat is called Brandy Butter, uh, and it's adorable. So it has this diamond cable on the front, kind of a four-leaf clover diamond cable thing. Um, and it's framed by rib on the sides and then the back is plain stuck in it. And much like um, these, you'll see it's color blocked. So she used the, the blue color for the main body of the hat, this off-white for um, the brim, and then her pom-pom is the lovely burgundy. Um, and the idea with the, um, with the patterns in the, in the end was that we wanted them, we used different techniques. You can see she used cables. We wanted them to echo each other a little bit. So with the color blocking, um, that's one way that they echo each other. So I've taken the pom-pom off, right? But my hat has the, um, the blue pom-pom with the burgundy hat. But the other thing is that um, with the diamond cable she has, it, it kind of echoes 
the diamond motif here in the color work. Um, so the four diamonds making one diamond together. So hers is only centered on the hat, whereas mine is all over, but they sort of, they nod at each other. And then her, um, and she did her hat in the worsted weight as well. So uh, we reversed the weights we used for the hat and the mitts. I did fingering weight hat, worsted weight mitts, and she did worsted weight hat and fingering weight mitts. And speaking of her mitts, um, the, they are the ginger snaps. And I think these are adorable and I might have to cast on a pair of these for myself. Um, I love the cable. I love the way they look. I just, yeah, I love everything about them. So again, with the color blocking, and again, she sort of has these, these diamond cables running down the back. And um, um, what I have on the back of my hand is this sort of XL pattern, but it's a bit like... Um, it does a similar kind of thing to um, what a diamond cable pattern does down the back of the hand. So, so they're sort of pointing at each other, they're echoes of each other even as they're not literally the same motif. So that is the, um, the Winter Solstice collection that I collaborated with the Crimson Stitchery on. We really hope you like the patterns. Um, you will find, again, links to everything in the description box below, uh, individual links to the patterns on Ravelry or I think Anushka has a pay hip store, wherever they're available, um, as well as links to Anushka's channel and her video when that goes live as well. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching today. I really hope I uh, see you sooner than another, you know, year. We'll make it a shorter time this time. Um, I miss you guys. So yeah, anyway. I hope you all are staying healthy, safe, um, enjoying the season in whatever way you can, and I hope I see you very, very soon. Bye!